Let's talk about assembling hose ends and using the proper tools to do so, so you get the best result. This is a hose end that was returned to us by a customer. They said they had an issue with uh, assembling it. Now you can see on that hose nut that there's clear marks on two sides from uh, the jaws of a vise. Now those are some pretty deep score marks. I've got another nut here. This is brand new, it's never been used, okay? I'm gonna show you what happens to that hose nut when you put it in a vise and you tighten it down to assemble this. So if you look closely, you watch that. It's not even, it's just snug, right? But if I apply some force to that, you're gonna see that squish a little bit, that, that nut, and there's no way you'll be able to assemble it. You see that deform there? That's a, there's no way that that hose end is gonna go in there. It won't even start. And if I take this back out, you can see that the marks are not that deep. And then if I go and try and put this on there, it's not gonna work because I've deformed that. So that's basically scrap now, right? So you can see the one that I squeezed is quite deformed. This is another new one. So you can see the deformation that's been left behind, right? So instead of doing that, especially with our larger hose ends like Dash 20, these are not cheap hose ends and you don't want to ruin them. So you want to make sure that you use the right tools for the job. Now what better option is to use our, our vice jaw to hold that. Now, when I place this in the vice jaw, I don't actually need to hold that very tight at all because you've got a V on each side and that's going to prevent that from wanting to twist as you tread your hose end into it. So it goes in nice and smooth. But once you get a hose in the bottom side of that, it'll be a little more difficult, but you won't have to hold this nut as tight because it won't be able to twist because it's being held by four sides instead of two. So it's very important that you use these vice jaws when you're assembling your hose ends. Uh, Dash 20 hose ends are not cheap, so if you ruin these, it, it's gonna cost you a lot of money and uh, bad parts. So use our vice jaws, these are used, but you can see that you can actually hold that vertical or you can hold it horizontal at the end of the vise if you want. The nice thing about these is that now that I have four, four sides, four faces of engagement, it's not gonna allow that to twist when I torque my hose end into that. And I don't need to hold it very tight and it's not gonna ovalize my nut. Obviously with a hose, that'll be a little bit more effort to, to put that in, but you get the idea. So we've got a couple of different adjustable wrenches. We've got a plain, plain adjustable and our new V adjustable wrench. Now, what's nice about this V jaw wrench is that it's gonna act just the same as our vice jaws. It engages the nut on four sides. So it has a nice positive feel when you're, when you're tightening that, it's not gonna allow it to twist. It's also not gonna slide off your nut. The only way to get it off is to actually open it up or to slide it directly straight off. So that'll, that'll uh, give you a nice positive feel when you're, when you're putting your hose ends together and you're not gonna mark up, mark up your uh, hose nuts.